Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Project Cars. This is KPG Guna here and in today's episode we're having a look at another car from the US race car pack and today's car is the Chevrolet Corvette CR7 GT3 car. Now today we're going to do something slightly different. Normally I take a car out around the track on default sense. We're not going to do that. GT3 cars are a little bit more temperamental so I've done a base setup. This isn't the final setup um, of this car. It's only one that I've I've just had a few goes around a few different tracks. This is just like something to work from. Um, you can tell me at the uh, in the comments below if you like it, but I'm going to show you at the end of the video the setup. I'm just going to run through it. But today's race, we're going to do eight laps around Donington Park uh, National, and I'm going to put the AI level down. Like I said, it's only a base setup. I'm not 100% happy with it at the moment. It still needs a little bit of... Um, a uh, little tweak here and there but it's something like i said to work for and i'll show you at the end of the video right we're going to get straight into this race if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe and i will see you for some more cars as well on this channel right let's get straight into this race Right, so here we go with our first race. Now, like I said, this is a base setup, which I used. I did a few practice laps around this circuit, Monza, Spa, Road America, but I chose this one for the race. But this uh, base setup should work on any of them. So like I said, it's not a finished uh, setup. It's something to work from, but like I said, I'll show you at the end of the video. And let me know in the comments below if you do decide to use it and see if it works for you and what, what things you adjusted if it didn't work for you. But like I said, this isn't a perfect setup. Hopefully, it should be good enough to win this race, but it's going to be a real challenge on 90% AI still with a, a setup that I'm not completely confident with. But we're up to P6, but you do find on project cars you get a group that uh, set the pace and then you get a group behind i'm sort of in the middle hopefully i can stick with them and hopefully get a podium place at least but like i said it's my first race in this car so i'm not going to push it too much i'm going to try and uh, wind up my overtakes and not do anything rash unless i have to but our car's gone off the track so we gain another place here yeah i'm going to try and use my overtakes on wisely on this circuit there's only a few areas where i feel confident like i said with this setup to overtake so let's go into this last bit here the chicane to the finish straight we're not doing bad so far we're up to p5 like i said first lap and what's the time 114 yeah 114 that's not bad for first lap i think the lap times are going to be probably just below 110 if we can maintain that pace, like I said, hopefully we can get a podium place. But I do like this car. It sounds brilliant. It looks brilliant. I just love Corvettes. I mean, I I did a set a setup and a uh, a build on Need for Speed in one of these. Nearly on every game, even on uh, Drive Club, I absolutely love the uh, the Corvette. It's just one of my favourite cars um, that's come out of America. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments below as well. What's your favourite car out of this pack? I mean, I haven't tried them all just yet. So I'm not going to say what my favourite is until I've uh, tried them all out. But so far, this is uh, definitely up there because it is a really good car. And it's probably going to be a car that I use online. I mean, like I said, uh, there's a lot of people out there doing a lot of races in GT3, car uh, GT3 cars online. So this may be a car that I may take online to see if it's better than some of the other ones. I mean, I did a really good setup on a Z4. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below and I will show you that setup because my, that's the best one I've done so far. Right, let's get right into this. We're up to P4, and we've just done a 108. That's not bad. That's a decent lap. Now, I only was doing sort of 110s, 119s on my uh, practice laps around the circuit, so I'm definitely improving. But you do find you will get a little bit quicker when you've got other cars on the track and you're pushing yourself, plus you get slipstream. But uh, see, uh, we've got... Uh, we're on the third lap. We've got another pass there. That car just... They just break on that corner too early. That's a good place to get a good overtake. You've got to line it up right so you don't smack into them. But that was perfect. And we're up to a podium place, third place on the third lap. We've got still, we still got a few, quite a few laps to go as well. So this isn't, isn't bad. Let's try and keep up with the two cars in front. And just try and push ourselves a little bit and try and gain a bit of time each lap to see if we can improve, see what sort of time we get, can get as well. So the two cars in front are pulling away, but I know that they break a lot earlier than I do in a lot of sectors, and that's where I'm going to gain some time. So I'm going to break it slightly later, take the risk, and hopefully um, catch them up. And again, we were faster in that sector, so we're definitely running faster on this lap. So let's see what time we put in this lap. Hopefully it is a lot quicker. And we've hit a 107.7, so we're definitely improving over a second quicker than the previous lap. I've run into that corner a bit too fast. 
car, do you? You've got to be so careful when you accelerate on the curbs. You have to feather the brake and the accelerator. I do find it a lot easier using the steering wheel than a controller to do that. This is not bad so far. Let's see if we can gain a little bit more time in this corner. See, they break so early on that corner. I don't know why, but um, I'm not going to complain because that's where we're going to probably gain a lot of time on these cars in this race. We've caught him up now and we're getting nice and close to him, but I'm not going to make any stupid overtakes. I'm going to wait until I get a perfect time to overtake and hopefully it'll be either on the straight before the chicane or that, that corner where they go a lot slower than me in. That's where I've got to try and get past him, but you've got to be in the right position and close enough to do it. So let's try and catch up. We've lost a bit of time again there. I'm going to break a lot later going into here. See if I can get close enough. No, not close enough to pass, but we are improving. But that sector was slightly slower. So this lap time was actually slower. I actually thought I was running quicker. Maybe that was when I made this mistake on that first. So yeah, that was slightly slower. Yeah, it's because we lost a lot of speed, probably on this corner. Let's get nice and tight into this corner this time and not lose so much speed. And that was definitely better. Not the best, but it was quicker than the previous lap. Now let's try and get nice and close. Let's try and get past him. This is where we've got to make a pass. Let's see if we can get nice and close. Run down the side of him. In the inside. Yes, a nice clean pass there. And we're past him. And we're into P2. But he's right behind us. He's not going to be happy. He's going to try probably to take a chance of getting past me on this section where he's a lot quicker than me on. But I'm going to hug that uh, curb there. And he can't get past and he's backed off. Right, let's get nice and tight into the guy in first. Let's see if we can improve through this section again. I've run it a slightly wider and I can't get the traction. Don't want to lose it. I felt the back end slide a little bit, stepped out, but then the car behind me did the same. And uh, we're not going to catch on this lap, but uh, we're coming to the end of lap five and we're still, we're still in the race and we're still within a chance of winning it as well. So that's just not to worry too much. We still got quite a few laps to go. We've got three laps to go and that's plenty of time to uh, get past this car. Let's try and get nice and tight again into this corner. Wasn't as good as last time and we've gone over the curb. Oh God, I had to really, really feather the brake then and to the accelerator and had to be really careful. I didn't accelerate too much and get a spin up, but we managed to control it and we didn't lose it, which is good. But the car behind is not um, too far away as well. So we've got to be careful. We don't leave ourselves open for an overtake. Right, let's get nice and tight into the uh, this section and try and get close to this car and see if we can take him on this bit here. See if we can get nice and close. No, that's not close enough. We're going to have to back off. Let's try and get a bit more speed through there. Again, still not brilliant, but that was a lot smoother than it was before. And I didn't go wide as well onto the grass like the car in front did. Let's try and leave this braking slightly later and get nice and close. So again, we're losing a lot of time, so we're 0.7 slower. So our lap times are actually getting slower because we're making mistakes. But uh, sometimes that happens when you're just trying to concentrate and getting past an opponent. You make silly little mistakes, but let's try and just stay in the race at least. We've still got two more laps to go. There's still plenty of time to get past this car. But uh, we've got to take our opportunities. Let's see if we can get nice and close into this section. But I think I'm a little bit too far behind to get past. Can we get past? No, too far behind, so we're going to have to back off. And uh, we're going to have to get closer to him and try and get past uh, before the, uh, the end of this lap, if we can. Again, we're running slightly slower than the previous laps. Come on, we can do this. I want to get a win in this car. I do like it. It is a good car. It's a very good car. I'm not sure whether I like it uh, more than the Z4 GT3, but time will tell once I've uh, got to uh, the perfect setup on this vehicle. Again, that car's run onto the grass, but we still are not catching him up. He's still got a lot more speed through that sector, but we're going to try and get nice and tight into here. So we're point four slower again, but that's not as slow as the previous lap. Come on, we've got one more lap. We've got to get past him. We've got to get closer and we've got to push it all the way. Or, or we just have to take second and uh, I'll just have to uh, accept that. Right, so last lap, here we go. Right, let's try and get nice and close. Oh, but we ran that wide again right on the last lap. That's not what you want to do when you want to win a race. And we've dropped a little bit further behind. This isn't great. We're not going to be close enough to pass here. No, nope. it's not worth the risk. No, nope. I can't pass there. So we're going to just have to get as close as possible. So the only place I think I could get past him is before the chicane on the straight. Unless I can get past him here. I don't think we're close enough. 
no, we're not going to get enough slipstream to get past him here. So we're going to have to... Oh, I don't know. No. We're going to have to back off to... It's going to be the last straight. This is our last opportunity to get past him. And he's just got around that corner a lot quicker. Come on, we've got to get nice and tight now. Come on, get a bit of slipstream. Right, I'm going to have to really risk the brakes. This is going to be a risk. Can we do it? Oh, this is going to be really late. Can we get in there nice and tight? Yes, we got past him. We got past him. No, he's beside me. Oh, it was neck and neck. Who's going to win this race? Let's try and close him down. Oh, no. I think I've done it. Yes, I've done it. Yes. Only just. Oh, my God. That was close. It was neck and neck. Yes. I, yes. I, for a minute then, I didn't think I'd done it. Yes, we got the win. That's absolutely brilliant. Now, we're going to jump into showing you the setup, the base setup I've got for this vehicle. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that race. Let's get straight into that. Right, I'm just going to flick through the base setup um, that I've done on this vehicle. If you want to pause the video, you can. But I'm just going to quickly run through it. I'm not going to read out every single thing because that would take forever. But I'm just going to run through it really quickly. Like I said, you can always pause it if you want. Like I said, this is only a base setup. So don't think you're going to hit an amazing fast time to this setup. It's just something to work from. It's the first setup I've done on any vehicle on the US race car pack. I hope you enjoy this setup and let me know if there's anything you had to change to make it better. Let me know because it's always good. Everyone does different things on setups. It's good to know if um, what I've done is um, right or wrong. If um, things that I could change. Right, and that brings us to the end of the setup, I think. No. Nope. Almost there. And I think that's it. Right. Let me know if you enjoyed um, that setup. And I will see you soon for some more on this, on this pack. See you later, guys.